Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this morning mountain weather update. An exciting update here. We've got a lot of cold and snow ahead here across the west. The first thing that happens is this storm system that hits California late 1 2, so tonight through tomorrow. The initial snow level is about 7,000, then it gradually falls to about 5,000 um, through the course of the storm system. That storm then becomes a southern track storm that hits Utah, Arizona, Colorado, New Mexico, 1 3 through 1 5. Then looking ahead at the pattern shift coming, there is a vanguard area precip that races through the Intermountain West on about 1.5 with just some brief initial snow. And then there are two primary storm systems. The first one comes in and it's the real pattern changer, 1.5 through 1.8. The second one comes in on its coattails around 1.9 through 1.11. Uh, both of them should bring a shot of cold air with the northern branch buckling to the south and widespread snow, as you'll see. In the northeast, the track continues to wobble on 1.7. It wobbled back to the south a little bit overnight in the forecast, so that'll be represented in the numbers uh, that'll show coming up. And then there's another large storm system potential for 1.9 and 1.10. Again, what's happening is these strong lows are coming out of the west with this pattern shift, and then they're shooting up into the northeast with some colder air. All right, let me show you what the, uh, the water vapor looks like this morning. So on this, again, your moisture aloft is going to be your whites, your blues, your greens. And it is obvious, a strong storm system here and a really uh, well-defined powerhouse storm system behind it. This one is the pattern changer. That's the one that's going to come into the west, buckle the northern branch and bring it down. A little area of low pressure down here as well. But this is the low that starts to dive to the south and will bring snow into the Sierra. Uh, from Shasta to Tahoe down to Mammoth, and then it becomes the southern track storm for Arizona, Utah, Colorado, and New Mexico, 1314 and early 15. Now that sets the stage because then this storm comes in, drags down the northern branch, and brings cold air and snow to the uh, to the west, the Pacific Northwest, the Intermountain West, everybody. And behind it, you can't see it, there's another storm system. Here's the forecast radar and satellite. So that's a situation by this afternoon. That storm system, there it is with that snow overnight, Tahoe, Shasta, and Mammoth. Again, falling snow levels initially, they're pretty high, uh, but they'll gradually fall. And then that storm takes a turn, becomes a southern track storm. See that shield of snow heading through Utah, Arizona, Colorado, and New Mexico, 1-4 into 1-5. That's that low departs early 1-5. But here comes that Vanguard precept out of the Pacific Northwest, racing through Idaho into Montana, and then down into the Tetons, the Wasatch, and eventually Colorado. All right, here we are on 1-6. Watch the Pacific Northwest for the big storm system coming in. And there it is. Starts to uh, move south, dive south. A lot of jet support. Widespread snow from California all the way through the interior Rockies. That's 1-7 early in the morning. And by the afternoon, we're still looking at widespread snow with colder air moving in. Snow all the way down to the valley floors in most locations. All right, guys, let's talk a little bit about the jet stream here. This will paint the picture. So on 1-5, the main area of low pressure, the pattern changer is coming out of uh, Canada. Um, and we'll move down to the Pacific Northwest. But look at the jet with that west-northwest orientation. Again, there's that quick area of early precip and snow that races down through the interior on 1-5. You've got southern branch support as well. All right, here is 1-8. So this is the transition period. Uh, the first major low is moving away from the west. You can see the deep trough down through uh, parts of uh, the heartland, Texas, Oklahoma, moving out of Colorado at that point. But there's already another low riding its coattails. You can almost see it coming out of uh, Canada and Alaska. And look what it does. By 110, another deep trough and an amplified polar jet. It buckles, bringing cold air to the south, southern branch support. So you've got an area of low pressure right there through Utah, Wyoming, Montana, Colorado, Idaho. So it's, it's, it's in its heart, in this forecast, in the heart of it, there are two main storm systems, and both of them look to bring cold air and snow to the west through 111. All right, looking at numbers. Oh, you know what? Let me show you this. This is what that looks like on 110. The forecast radar on 110, widespread snow. So it's very similar. The first storm and the second storm deliver widespread snow and colder air. The numbers. All right, so this is the uh, 1, 2 through 1, 4 period. This mainly captures that's, that storm coming out of California, tracking to the south through Arizona, New Mexico, Utah, Colorado. In uh, California, probably a 6 to 10 inch snowfall through uh, Tahoe and Mammoth, more higher up at higher elevations. And probably 3 to 6, maybe 7 inches through southern uh, parts of Utah, uh, Utah in general, southern Colorado, New Mexico. 
And here's the real period, guys. This is what's exciting. Mean, this is really exciting to see this. Now, keep in mind, 1.5 through 1.11 captures two different storm systems. So this isn't all coming at one time. It will come in two different storms. But some incredible numbers. Wherever you see the purple shading, that's generally a foot or more. And there are a lot of those areas. Um, like I was saying in last night's update, I think one to two feet, absolutely possible Tetons, Wasatch, and you can see it here in this update for grand totals. In Colorado, probably 10 to 20 inches. Um, look, at, look at Idaho, central and northern Idaho. We could be looking at one to two feet or more. Northwest Montana does well. Interior BC, look at the Pacific Northwest. One to three feet, potentially four to five feet through Timberline and Bachelor if the storm track stays as it is. That, uh, that, that's predicated on a, on a perfect storm track. And down and through California, we could add another 8 to 14 inches on top of what we got in that first period. So that's a very exciting map. Keep in mind, though, it's two storm systems. Back to the northeast, the wobble continued. It wobbled on 1-7. That storm truck wobbled a little further to the south. That pulls the heavy snow back out of Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. Um, there's another very large storm system on 1-9-1-10. Both of these storm systems are coming out of the west and developing into strong storm systems, nor'easters essentially, up in the, uh, the northeast. Now, if the storm on 1-7 wobbles back to the north, then the big totals come back to Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. But right now, this is what we're looking at for this particular update. All right, guys, we'll end on this map again. A uh, lot to look forward to for 1-5 through 1-11. Stick with me over the next uh, several days. I'll keep things updated probably twice a day. So we'll do a morning and an afternoon update you know, looking at the new data from morning to the afternoon, and we'll see how this plays out. It's going to be a big weekend ahead and into early next week for sure. Thanks, guys, for tuning in, and take care.